What's going on? This is Johnny from the Hangout Spot and Florida correspondent for the Boxing Voice, and I'm here with former lightweight champion of the world, Richard R.C. Comey. Champ, what's going on, man? You're here at Legacy Fitness today in Orlando. Well, how you doing? Oh, very well. I'm doing pretty well, you know what I mean? It's always good to be out here, and thank you, uh, Dr. Anna Spot, for, you know what I mean, for this interview. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. In fact, I think you were at Caribbean Royale this Friday, right? Yeah. Were you at Caribbean Royale? Were you there to support John Laria? Well, actually, I was there just to see what is going on, you know what I mean? I didn't really, um, even though there was one Ghanaian guy that fought, I was there to watch his fight, so I gave me a little bit of support, yeah, that was it. But, yeah, I was, just, I was there just to have fun. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did run into you real quick. I didn't get a chance to talk to you, but I figured that you might have been there to, 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 to um, support your countryman from Ghana, John Laria. Yeah, definitely. You know, once I'm a Ghanaian and he's fighting, it's always good to, you know what I mean, to give you a support. How excited are you to see him fight again, man? He looked pretty good. Yeah, but you know what I mean? It's always good to, from coming out from Ghana is a very tough thing. So for him to come out here and do what he did, I mean, the, the future is great. Yeah, this was his first fight in the United States, right? Right, yeah. Do you foresee him coming back here to fight again? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? You know it's hard work. So if he keeps doing the hard work, then definitely he might get a chance to come back here again. Speaking of coming back, man, when are you going to make your return to the ring? Uh, pretty soon, hopefully. I'm looking at, uh, you know, the year is almost at end. So, um, so hopefully, definitely next year, there should be something out there for me. Okay, that sounds good. And you'll be fighting at the 140 division, right? Yeah, well, definitely. And I'll move out to 140. So. Which is probably the hottest division in boxing right now, man. There's a lot of big names there. I mean, that's good. You know, when you when you move into 140, you know what I mean? I'm a former world champion. I know what it takes to be in the mix and, you know, easy. So it's always good to be in the division when it's tough, when you know everyone is putting their hard work. You know what I mean? Every fight is a big fight. So it's always good and very exciting. Speaking of 140 division, there's a big fight coming up in uh, in December. Richardson Hitchens is going to be challenging Leon Paro for the IBF title. What do you think about that fight? And how do you see that playing out? Well, you know what I mean. I've been uh, I've been with I've been uh, in the same gym with uh, Richie, Richardson. You know what I mean. He's my guy. I spied him a lot, and you know what I mean. He's very talented, and um, definitely I see him as a world champion a long time ago. And I'm, I'm glad that he's got the opportunity to show the world because I've seen him a lot and I know what he's got, I know what he can do. And I thank God that he's got the opportunity to be a world champion. Definitely he's going to be a world champion. Do you think this is the night that he does it against Liam Paro? Say it again. Do you think he's going to be able to do that against Liam Paro, become a champion that night? Well, you know what I mean? Fight, uh, uh, stars bring fights, you know what I mean? And I know he's been working so hard. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to uh, downplay his opponent, but I have faith in him. I've seen him. I've sparred with him. I know what he got. So with what I've seen him so far, I know definitely he can be a world champion. But also, I haven't really studied the guy he's fighting. And I know he's not a cheap boxer too. He's not just any other boxer. He's also good. So on the night, I pray that my guy have a good night so that he can win. You know what I mean? Family, you always have to support family. But I wish all of them best and the best fighter is going to win on the night. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And speaking of another 140 pounder, Friday, Jermaine Ortiz, the technician, he actually won in the main event on Friday. That's another guy that's in the 140 division. He's calling out Ryo, man. He wants to fight with Ryo. Um, do you see that happening? And if you do, how do you see that fight playing out? Well, you know, I mean, some people like. Um, I know, you know what I mean, he's calling the guy, he feels that's a good that, that's a good fight for him, that's what he's calling him. So, you know what I mean, I wish every fighter, you know, this this job is not an easy. So if he's, he's calling him, you know the reason why, and I pray if his team, whatever, they see that is a good fight for them, then so be it, you know what I mean? I think Jermaine Ortiz will be a good fight for you. Well, you know, I'm just coming up, and for me, I never dug in a boxer. I fight anyone if everything is right, the money is right, everything is good. This is sport, man. We here to have fun and train out and look after ourselves. So that's the only thing I do to, to, uh, to take care of my family. So, you know what I mean? Why not? If there is a good pass, everything is right, so be it. I dug nobody. I fight anyone. Oh, definitely. Your resume speaks for itself. Which brings me to that question. You've, you've fought a lot of big names. I mean, Lomachenko, Tiafimo. Who's been your toughest fight? Lightweight. You know what I mean? Uh, I might not say toughest, but it's kind of a hard fight. I would say Lomachenko because of his movements. But my real, real hard fight that I had, uh, Gary Backlund from the UK, when I won the Commonwealth title. This guy is tough. 
he kept coming and you know my first fight, fight uh, like uh, my first title fight in the UK and you know being an African we have the notion that if you don't knock him out you're gonna lose the fight so it was a very and I was even developing then so it was a tough one for me but yeah back to Lomachenko with his style and that's apparently I see the toughest fight not like tougher that is hard but it's kind of it made me think a lot because of his movement you know what I mean so yeah, that, that, that was it. Every time a fighter fights and loses a tough fight, they always come back and go, damn, if I would have only done that differently. What's that one fight that you would say, I wish I could have that fight again? I think Teofimo, I'd love to fight him again because the reason is, you know what I mean? I got caught. I saw it and I got caught. But actually, I wish I can, but it's my friend, he's a nice guy. I don't know if it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? If he ever give me the chance, no problem. I see him now he's a little bit up there, like he's a champion, and you know what I mean? If he ever give me the chance to fight with me, which I doubt he will, then fair enough, you know what I mean? This is sport. But yeah, because the fight didn't travel, and I didn't just beat um, my, the, what I've got in me, you know what I mean? So it's a bit of, I wish I could, I could run it uh, backwards again. I, I definitely see that fight again, for sure, man. You're always in an interesting action-packed fight. What do you want to say to your fans? Well, I want to I wanna thank my fans who've been supporting me since, and those that I met, the new fans that I've got, they should keep supporting Richie Kome, and hopefully, you know what I mean, two-time world champion. I mean, world champion 140. I surely definitely will come back very soon. And I also want to say a big shout-out to Pablo, my guy, who's fighting uh, this Saturday. I mean, he's a great guy, and. I mean, check his YouTube channel, man. Pablo Valdez. Check him out. He's ready. No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, champ, man, it's always a pleasure. Hopefully, you'll be able to get that championship fight at 140 and make it another division under your belt. I am here with former lightweight champion Richard Comey, and I'm Johnny from the Hangout Spot signing out. Thank you, champ. Thank you so much. I want to say a big shout out to the Hangout. I mean, it's always great to have people that you never met, but they know who you are. And it's kind of interesting, like, interview we had today. God bless the Hangout. Appreciate you, champ. YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.